Your boy, I had to do that intro three times consecutively because it was, the clap was too loud the first two times with another video about music. And I am very appreciative of the support the past two videos about music has gotten. Uh, Brockhampton fans hate me, but I hate Brockhampton fans, so it's okay. And this is the second volume of the best three products I heard this week, except... It is last week because I am lazy and I can't get a video done. So these three, I feel really good about. I feel like these are three good series of tracks. And the first one is right here. All right, so we're back with my first album, which is Anna Managuchi USA. A project came out last October 25th. It is 52 minutes long and 14 songs, and it is really good. Pretty much essentially primarily uh, instrumental music, although there are a couple of tracks that are, in fact, um, instrumental vocally. Uh, my bad, vocally. And the vocal tracks are really good. They're some of my favorite ones. I'm going to list a few in a second. But one of the biggest takeaways I had for this joint was it sounds like badass video game music slash, I have it in my notes, I promise. I wrote these notes before, like these notes are like two weeks old now. Slash Scott Pilgrim type of music, slash Naruto intro music. And the Scott Pilgrim music is important because apparently these motherfuckers walk work on Scott Pilgrim vs. the World of Game. I didn't know that shit, but it sounds just like these motherfuckers. I downloaded the demo of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World um, on the PS3 um, about 2011 because I. Uh, I, we didn't really buy many games for PS3. I didn't have the most money for PS3 games. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I played the demo, and it sounds so reminiscent of um, Sunset... Is that what I want to go with, or is that Air Online? I think it's Air Online is the one I want to go with. That sounds very similar to the main track that you play with when you're coming from Scott Pilgrim's house. Uh, it's it's a 2D scroller, so... I'm, I was in my head right now, but maybe I'll have... A video of what I'm talking about to the side if I'm if I care enough to edit it in um it's a 2d scroller and one of the songs coming from Scott Pilgrim's house down the neighborhood uh there's like potholes and stuff in the ground and the background music that I can remember at least a little bit vividly is very reminiscent of I want to say B no it's BSS I actually have it written down BSS and then in quotes in a uh, parentheses I have Scott Pilgrim shit I swear to God, I didn't know that they did Scott Pilgrim. But Scott Pilgrim is one of my favorite um, movies of all time. And the fact that they did that shit is pretty amazing. But anyway, as the album goes, it's uh, supposed to be Galinchy electronic bullshit. It reminds me of like a little bit of a bed, not bedroom pop, but some of the bedroom pop guitars um, and like kitschy, just chirp, chirp, chirp. It's kind of liking that too. Um, and J pop definitely is. Um, I've listened to some math rock in my day, and uh, it, it reminds me a lot of math rock too. Uh, so that's definitely there. They call it chip tune. Uh, I guess their main influence, chip tune, bit pop. I don't know all these various rock genres, but that's kind of what they go with here. And I was going to pull up a couple of these professionals that reviewed it uh, 7.5 by Pitchfork. Uh, ah, ah. Hey everyone, Anthony Bit Tan. All right, Jesus. Uh, so, <laughs> I forgot the pauses before I clicked on it. So anyway, we go on to uh, where's the number at? Where's the number at? I'm gonna probably edit this out in uh post production, but where's the number at? To a particular post or genre oh, in that. Is, huh? Okay. All right. So we're back. Uh, light eight. That's what Fantano gave was a light eight, and uh, I couldn't find uh, like a USA like Metacritic. I mean, I probably could if I didn't. If I tried, I didn't. But <laughs> it's probably out there somewhere. Uh, Hatsune Miku. I believe I've heard her music before. Uh, but I don't know. If I have or not. <laughs> it's a hipster shit. Uh, her first album was really good. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, so if you look at some of the shit that they're involved with, they're really... A fucking Minecraft server? Uh, what the hell? They're in games? They have a tw uh, an official Twitch page? I mean, Danny Brown's an official Twitch page, but that dude was, like, way out there. Oh, yeah, and uh, there's a couple more tracks that I recommend. I forgot to... Let me close this out. I really like this album. It's really good. It's really, really good. If you like video game music, this is really good. Uh, especially if you like, like, um, comic slash, I won't say anime necessarily, because it's not, like, really, like, traditional, like, J-pop, K-pop, uh, anime music, but it's, like, rock J-pop, or, you know, it's rock Japanese music, not rock J-pop, anyway, um, so, Sunset by playing the first vocal track with, um, if it would pull up, with Caroline Lufkin, very good, the track right after, Aeroline, uh, Aeroline, Caroline, huh, uh, so, also really good, the, the, the representative track of this entire project, and it'll more likely be a track, i uh, use some of the beats maybe to kind of intro this a little bit, Fantastic Glitch Pop, uh, this BSX song that I was mentioning earlier, it has Miko Hatsune on there, uh, really good track, On My Own, Hannah, she, uh, she can put together a pretty good hook. Uh, this is, they don't use Hannah the same way that Grimes use Hannah on, um, We Appreciate Power, which is one of my favorite hooks ever. I love We Appreciate Power. I hate it's not on Grimes' album, but now I'm just digressing. Anyway, I love his album. Please listen to Anime and Gucci. Otherwise known as the Armani Prada Gucci Boys. That's a bad. Okay. Part two. Second album. Pee Wee Longway. The Blue M. Number four, the fourth installation of the Blue and the Nim. <laughs> August 23rd, 2019, 47 minutes, 16 songs. If y'all know me, y'all know that I got the attention span of an orange, and I really don't like particularly long albums, especially when they have to be trap albums. There just isn't many long trap albums that are worth listening to. But I do think this album... Flips that on his head a little bit. Pee Wee Longway is an interesting talent that isn't very. He's he's kind of like it's it's um the Eminem uh no, not the, yeah the Eminem effort the Eminem logo. He's got to a really high point. He's pretty much going back to the underground, and I think that some songs of this album bring him back up to the light. Now, in that sense, I don't think that. You'll see a lot of his hype on internet blogs and internet review sites. In fact, I went to several, and only sparingly amount of reviews were there. Um, even Rachel Music doesn't have that many, and Pitchfork hasn't reviewed them. Uh, you know, there's not many trap or <laughs> trap first review channels on YouTube. There may be some that have reviewed this, but I just didn't care to find them uh, because who. You know, if a guy's the same amount of views that I have, I don't think you should really care about his opinion more than you should care about mine. So, anyways, going off of what I feel about this album, I think it's like a uh, a spread, like a spread of cheeses and apples and fruits and all that, where you have different tastes, different flavors, different even different artists' genres in this one project. This guy is really versatile. Um... He does a lot from front to back that keeps you interested. However, I do think that some of that magic uh, stops really showing itself towards the back end. I think once you get past the white chicks, maybe even won't fit. I think it's kind of, it's tough. There's really some tracks that just don't really do much for me. I think Murder Rate is a pretty solid song. Uh... I think it even has a pretty good Quavo uh, edition, which is very hard to find post-2017, but uh, it's okay. Like the, the, the last leg isn't awful. It's just not magical. And a lot of the songs from track 12-ish up, uh, there's some magic there. Uh, I guess I should go ahead and just explain why I have this pulled up. So, Pee Wee Longway, if you type that in and you hit space... And you took these two search results away. The fourth most populous result is Fiji Water, which is the song that my, my boy Hudson Kosea, uh 
suggested this album to me, and then the song I think he suggested to me more than any were Fiji Water, which is um, good. It is a good song. It is a banger. It is a hit, and I can't for the life of me understand why it isn't bigger. Uh, if we could go, let me see something. I want to see if I can see the views on this song. Okay, Pee Wee. Uh, it's not. It's never good when something is suggested that piff. That means that there's not a lot of hype for that individual. So it's hosted on that piff. Now it's two hundred forty-seven thousand views, which is pretty good. But yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of love on some of his songs, but I just think that. It should be loved from people that aren't already his fans. Uh, big names that should be loving this dude. Because this is a hit. This is the only thing that she came for. I'm trying to say the same what he said. His, his, the thing that makes him stand out more than any is his vocal delivery. He has like a young thug level um, range when it comes to vocal delivery. He's just great at giving you so many different styles. It's amazing, really. Um... We on the same page. We can read the whole book, baby. He kind of goes like that, you know, his deep, natural, his, his natural speaking voice, but a little bit deeper. And then running through them blues, I can do a couple favors. Running through the bass, got a couple different flavors. Charlie hit my line one and ten. And this at this point, he's trying to do like a whole a country. T that's why the earlier comment said the country flavor. That's what he's trying to do with it. Back, back half of his hook. Charlie hit my line one to tango. Pussy Fiji water tastes like mango. Dripping waterfall, she my rainbow. My rainbow is it's it's really like one of the best hooks I've heard in a while. Um his rapping is good too. Like his flows for the most part are amazing. But going on the songs I think you should listen to, uh, or at least the songs I like. So we have well, calm down a whole lot of love. The two songs before this are really good songs. Whole lot of love is a great song, matter of fact. I think that Fiji Water is the peak. I think Frostbite is another good one. Uh, if I could pull the hook up for this. I think I like the hook for this too. He has a really good hook ability. Yeah, I, I like I like this song. Uh, it's probably not much better than, than A Whole Lot of Love, but I like the song, as I remember. Uh, Smell was a great one. And then um, Side Chick. Yeah, just chilling with my side chick. Yeah, that... I fucked with this one too. This was a uh, NPA Wicked dude. I don't know if I really liked his shit. It, it was all right, but um, yeah, Pee Wee killed this one. Like this is one of his better like rapping songs in the whole album. Like fuck the hook, even the songs, the verses by themselves were pretty nice too. But yeah, that's about it. Um, please go listen to Pee Wee Long Way, and especially this album. It's not just pure trap. It's a lot of different sounds on there. It's it's trap beats, trap producer. Cash your quan. Let's go. All right. So.